Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, gonna, because I've been jumping outside over the last couple of days, my beads on my rope are screwed. So basically they need replacing. Let's re-bead these ropes. Rope, I just need one, just one rope. This is something, if I'm jumping outside, I have to do more often. Now what I do, is I've got so 25 that side. I've got 25 on the outside, on each side, which I don't, they don't really need, they don't ever really come into contact with the ground. And it's these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 in the middle that cause the problem. And what I find is if I'm doing side swing crosses and releases, the rope starts kind of getting tangled midair. And it's normally down to these. When I take one out, I'll show you what it looks like. The eagle-eyed amongst you would have noticed that I've got I've got knots here to stop the beads from coming forward. Now what I do is I I get a, a marker pen and I mark out before I undo it where I need that knot to go back again. So I've got a reference point. And then all I do is take the handle off, undo that second knot. I use a figure of eight knot there just so it's, it's a larger knot. I also find them easier to undo. Now there may be other knots that are easier to undo than the figure of eight knot. If you actually, if you know that, uh, drop a comment down below because I'd, I'd be keen to know what other knots to try. Those 25 are there. So these 17 are gonna be put to one side. I've got some spare beads. I get my ropes from Jump Rope Coach Chris. 17 in the middle. And then what I typically do is the ones from the outside I put on the inside, if that makes any sense. All right, that's all the beads on. And then you can kind of see there where the rope's already kind of got the marks where it's, it's been um, wrapped around before. Not on here. And then I'll just measure the rope. Okay, that's measuring a little bit shorter at 6.4. I'll show you what the beads look like when I change them. When they get in this kind of state, then I, I'll change them. Just, just for your reference, really. And then I, I keep all these. I've just got a little pot over there where I keep them all, kind of like a like a trophy. It's a little bit short, this rope, so I'm just gonna undo this. There we go. And then I'll measure it again. All right, so that's the rope done. It's actually now a little bit shorter. So before I had it at, at six foot six, and now it's six foot four and a half-ish. So it's a little bit shorter. Oh, it's like a dream. It's like it's like a, like a new car. It does feel a little bit weird. Like whenever you put new beads, because obviously the other beads are worn down slightly. Although it might not seem a lot, but you can really tell the difference when you've got that extra bit of rotating weight. But I didn't actually intend for this video to be a look at how to bead a rope or how I use my rope, but it seems to have turned into that kind of video, so I'll just go with it. Also, in very, very exciting news, finally, 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 I've been given access to 30 second reels on Instagram. Might not seem like a, a very big deal, but yesterday I was battling and battling and battling with copyright issues on Instagram, and if I would have had 30 second reels, it wouldn't have been an issue, quite simply. So, I am super excited. I'm just gonna uh, film for the Instagram post now.
here. I hope you found the beaded rope stuff helpful. That skipping session for me was too much. Just those extra, what, inch and a half shorter on that length <laughs> made all the difference, I suppose. All right, I'll leave it there on that note. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe if that's what you're into, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.